We continued the war within after Khadgar unexpectedly disintegrated into fairy dust and Dalaran suffered a massive fart explosion after Taco Tuesday event. It's that or Alaria forgot to take the kettle off the stove. Even though we took a teleport from Dalaran to the ground, we somehow end up in a pile of life-crushing rocks that would squish even a cockroach. Then this random dude gets violated in the butt region by a huge spider. Man, that scream still haunts me in my nightmares. Me as a druid then somehow telepathically remove the rocks from the pile to free myself? Rescue who you can along the way. After we get tasked with helping around with things like boinking this sheep that turns out is a dwarf cosplaying as sheep. And we give some uh, blue Viagra tincture to this guy who by the looks of it uh, splurged his load all over the damn place. You also get to fight this huge crystal creature with no pants on. He was in a no pants stance. Ah shit, he didn't drop anything valuable. Ugh. Then out of nowhere, Anduin appears. Jaina, Thrall, we need help. Magni's in trouble. Sounding as if he has undergone a sex change. Maybe in the crash, a rock crushed his nutsack. Or he got caught jumping over a very tall fence. Anduin was concerned that Magni is having too much fun with his new best friend. The Dung Beetle. We of course have to step in so he doesn't have all the fun. And as the Dung Beetle was about to show us how to roll a new turd ball, bunch of storm riders came in with their toaster ovens and scared all the damn bugs away. So much for finding new friends to play with, huh? Dang it. The leader of the toaster oven army was about to zap our asses, if not for Magni. Leave at once. Toaster oven guy was so impressed of how hard Magni got after uh, playing with his little beetle there that he invited us for a nice cup of tea at his place. In Dornegal, as a welcome gift, they gave us a bird and our own toaster oven to zap some ants on the ground. Sweet! Thrall and friends then have a quick meeting on how we're going to trick the dwarves that it wasn't our fault that the city now is crawling with spiders. Miss Windrunner thereafter Xelatath disarmed her with uh, her pinky finger basically, decides she's going to hunt her down and make her pay? Yeah, good luck with that. Clearly, she put all her stats in agility and zero in intelligence. Uh, whoa, whoa. Thrall then drops a classic Arnold Schwarzenegger line. We will be back. And we will be ready. And we trick the dwarves that we are big time friends with them. Let the grind begin, boys. Welcome to Dornigal. You are the first Outlander to visit in years. It's not surprising that these dwarves are probably looking like this due to massive inbreeding over the years. We then deposit a dwarf's memory crystal in the vault. We might as well drop that thing in the garbage because turns out the dwarves can't access the vault themselves. In the next 10 centuries, we will all cease to function. Jesus, this inbreeding has gotten out of hand. They went full retard. This here, kids, is a result of inbreeding. Let this be a lesson for you. This Irish last then outlines the main tasks for next few hours. Rebel Corwe and take care of the Nerubians once and for all. First task then is to visit an old traitor who left her post as a storm ward. And holy shit smack me with a mackerel. This lady has a full grown beard. Imagine if this is what's going on her face. What the hell is going on downstairs? Wow wow wee wow. I do not want to find out. 
that's for sure. Then these two earthens have a little family dispute in front of everyone. Maybe he's jealous of her thick, luscious beard. And you abandoned us. The Corway was attacked. It must be repaired. And after all that nonsense, we finally get to hang out with Bran Bronzebeard. Bran takes us for our first delve experience. Here we rescue some folks from a spidey webs and throw them down in a coal cart. Super fun delve experience! I guess this is a little better than uh, watching paint dry. Man, I hope the delve business gets better later on. <sighs> please, please let it be better than this. Oh, holy shit, that spider just got smacked in the butt with a flaming cart coming straight from hell. At the end there, you get some chests with really crappy rewards. Like, what's the point of these? And you get to see all those ungrateful dwarves dancing in gold. Like, why did we just get some stinkers from those chests and they get to keep literally mountains of gold? What the fuck is going on in here? I drown my sorrow in stomping on some mushrooms. Holy crap, I think I ate some of the mushrooms. Look at this giant one. This can't be real, right? And I'm not the only one who had some mushrooms. Looks like these two guys overdosed on some shrooms and now we gotta get their asses off the streets. One of the bearded gals OD'd so hard that Belgrim offered to help her. Perhaps the healers there can help. Belgrim, thank you. By crushing her with his storm rook. Psych! What a sweet guy. He said he's taking her to healers, but I think he's just gonna feed her to the birds. They haven't eaten for days, poor fellas. For no reason whatsoever. Batman just flies through the village. Later on, we splurge some hot popping lava down the holes in the ground so that the Nerubians have a nice, nice and warm lava bath. Ooh. Damn, looks like this dung beetle doesn't really care much for my lava splurge. 